You can get it if you really want You can get it if you really want But you must try Try and try Try and try You'll succeed at last There is such a thing as accountability, ladies and gentlemen Legal accountability There is such a thing as legal accountability We do have a legal system there is a large number of people, large number of the residents of Newton make their lucrative living as lawyers because we have a legal system, because we have a legal system that's there so that people can, in fact, defend themselves against being ripped off and against incompetence and those who are not willing to be accountable for their own decisions. When the when the members of Newton's local government, the school committee members, the mayors, the superintendents, the aldermen, all make wrong decisions and deliberately make wrong decisions in spite of being fit, in, in the face of being told by many other people, by the citizens themselves, the residents of Newton that are supposedly they're there to represent. Tell them, These, this is the wrong decision. You're making the wrong decisions. We don't want this. And they veto the citizens' wishes. And they say, we're going to override your wishes regardless of whether you want this or not. It's what we've decided we want. And they force this exorbitant shit on you and say, oh, it's up to you to pay for it. $200 million, quarter of a billion dollars, half a billion dollars, you pay for it. We made the decision, we foisted it on you, you didn't even want it, and now we're going to make you pay for it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's such a thing as standing up for your own dignity and, and saying no. There's such a th thing as holding these people responsible and accountable for their own actions and saying, look, you wanted to make this thing, you wanted this and we didn't want it, and you foisted it on us, you pay for it. You be accountable for your own decisions and you pay for this fucking Taj Mahal. We will sue you. We will, we will sue you. Bah, bah. We will, we will sue you. Bah, bah. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen? Sue the fucking pants off these bastards. Or you could do as you've been doing and sit by meekly and compliantly and just say, well, there's nothing we can do about it, and after all, they are the experts, and they are the ones with the experience in city government to know how to deal with political situations, so they're best, best suited for, by, on the basis of their long experience in government to know how to deal with the situation which they created. They created the situation, and now you expect them to solve it? As long as you allow them in the positions of authority those same people who created the situation, you're going to simply be dug deeper and deeper into the same pit, which is all that they've ever done, is they've been, they handed you the shovel and said, here, dig your own pit. And when you're finally finished and exhausted and, and you've got no more strength or money left, we will shove you into that pit and throw the dirt over you. We will raise your taxes so much to pay for our crappy decisions which you voted, which you voted against in the referendum that you had to go gather petitions to get on the ballot. That doesn't matter that you voted against it. They will manage to get people to, to, to shuffle in and, and vote their way to pass the referendum against you. So the fact that you voted against it doesn't count and you still, they're still going to force you to pay through your taxes for these decisions that you've, de that you've vetoed every step of the way. And they're going to pay, raise your taxes so high that you can no longer afford to live in Newton. And you have to sell your house just to pay for the taxes, just to pay for the thing that you didn't want in the first place. And guess who gets to stay in Newton? The crooks who made all these decisions. They stay in Newton. Mm-hmm. Yes, and some of them, a lot of them are lawyers themselves. High-priced, high-paid lawyers. Highly paid lawyers who, who spend, who make all, most of their money, aside from the money that they, that they suck out of you in payment for their position as aldermen or school committee members. Are, other than that, in their day jobs, they make millions of dollars, some of them, some of them millions of dollars a year. 
suing other people to be accountable, financially accountable for their actions. And yet, they, this, just let's listen to how quickly they're going to, uh, they're going to hem and haw if you suggest that you're going to sue them to hold them accountable, financially accountable for the crappy decisions that they made and that they forced upon you. Sue Vern Vance. Sue all these bastards, these, poli- these legal lawyers. Sue them for accountability for their own a- respons- for, and for responsibility for their own decisions. Or you could, s- ah. or you could sit back meekly and completely and say, "Well, there's nothing we can do. We might as well just reelect them." <laughs> I say to you, don't just don't just not reelect them. Take them to court. Sue them. Sue the pants off and make them pay for the whole. 200 million or 300 or 500 million, however much it is, for their crappy, their crappy exorbitant Taj Mahal, and then do what it deserves to have done to it. Tear it down and start from scratch. Start from scratch and get back the Newton schools. Get back to the way it should be, to the way it was, where every child under the age of 12 in Newton can walk to a neighborhood elementary school within walking distance. Kids don't have to take buses to go to first grade because all the schools have been sold off. One third of the schools have been sold off to make housing out of. I have a dream, ladies and gentlemen. I have a dream. One day, yes, one day we will get back our school system and that young children in Newton Lower Falls will be able to walk to their elementary school at the Hamilton Elementary School as in days of old. And the same thing in Newton Upper Falls where children will be able to walk to the Elliott or whatever the name of that school was. I think it was the, the Elliott School in Upper Falls. And the Oak Hill Elementary School. Uh-huh. The Oak Hill Elementary School next to the Meadowbrook Junior High School. You see, what will happen is you get you get back your elementary, your elementary schools and Weeks and Warren Junior High Schools from the crooks who stuck them, stole them. So that's part of, that will be part of the class action suit also will be to, to have these crooks give back our schools that should never have been sold to them in the first place. And then by doing that, by having five junior high schools, we will be able to take ninth grade out of the high school. We will not need a huge jumbo Newton North High School because we won't have... Ten, it won't have ninth grade in it. It will have 10th, 11th, and 12th, and that will be enough, and there's enough space there to, to decently accommodate those grades. You have more elementary schools. You'll be able to put 6th grade back into elementary school and ninth grade back into junior high school. You'll have five junior high schools, most of which will be within walking distance or at least bicycle riding distance of most junior high school aged children anywhere in the city of Newton. And you can get it if you really want. Now, of course, you can say, oh, no, this is not our right. We don't have the right to do this. We don't have, we sh- shouldn't, it, it's, that wouldn't be fair. Well, you know, when you go singing, <laughs> when you go singing, um, every time that, that, that red, white, and blue ple- piece of cloth starts, gets hoisted, what do you do? You stand up. You have to stand on your feet. And you just sing, sing, sing. You have to sing, in the land of the free. And the home of the brave. Well, is this your home? Is this your land? Are you free? Are you brave? Are you free enough to make your own decisions without having crooked decisions forced on you? Are you free to have your your school system without crooks stealing it from under you? Stealing your schools out from under you and de- selling them to developers? Are you brave enough to take these bastards to court and sue them as they deserve for restitution to get your city back the way it should be? If you're not, then don't sing that song. Don't sing that shit about the land of the free and the home of the brave. If you're not free and you're not brave. If you are free and you are brave, you don't need to sing that song. You need to go to, you need to join us and take, take these bastards to court and get Newton back. I'm Adam Mouse and I approve of this message.